morning I'm Anastasia Nguringoma, instructor in IPRC, Chigari in the plumbing section. Today we are going to learn about the pump connection. Then uh, the use of pump today, as learners you will be able to know all kind of the pump or measurement pump connection, measures to take and when installing the pump, then also you will be able to know the suction site, the delivery site, and also you can know when you are going to buy to the market the pump, what is your refer on. Normally, in general, this it will give you overview on measure pump connection related found in small water installation. Then uh, we can go forward, but we have to know the use of pump. Normally, the pump is used to move water from a source such as a river, lake, reservoir, wells, and spring, and so on and so on. Then water, in this, this using this pump, also it can be used to move water from treatment plant to the distribution system or reservoir. This also, it can maintain pressure in the distribution system and also it can circulate water through a distribution system and also this can be used also in the irrigation system. And also this pump we are going to use today, the pump there are in two types. The first one, it is the dynamic pump and another one it is the displacement pumps. This centrifugal pump we, we go to learn today, it is in the group of this dynamics pump. It means we have to look on this one today and also we end up after having all knowledge, all kind of the you refer on when installing this centrifugal pump. And here you can have all kind of the pumps. Here on the table we are having some of them. We are having the part of them. And also yeah, we are having this pump completed. Then also this pump, this pump it can be used only in the transferring of the fluid. Normally, this centrifugal pump, it generates forces and pressures to and the flows because it is used centrifugal forces to generate the pressures and the flows. When it rotates, it gives the pressure to generate the flow to go high in the breeding. Normally, this pump you see, it is composed by the many pumps as long as we see them. When you say the casing, it is this one, but having the inside pump. Then also there is an hydraulic system on this pump. When we say hydraulic system on this pump, we are talking about piping, pump piping. When you have the pipe connecting this pump, and also we say the hydraulic system. And also we can say the electrical system. And this, it is motor. When you look on this pump, this is a motor. Here there is a ventilation. When the motor working, it must be ventilated. And it is motor and it's related component electrical installation. And there is control system. When we say control system, normally we are referring to the pressure flow and related levels and switches. When we go to the practice site, we will see the pressure, the flow and related switches. And also, as you see this pump, normally on the part of the pump, as I have said, here we are having the motor because also it is being connected to the electricity and this is a motor 
and also coming from here up to, to here, this is a staffing box. And internally, there is a shaft connecting the electrical pump to, the, to this volute because this is, when you're having this one, it is casing, casing this one, covering the, the impairers. And also, this is the inlet here. It is where the water is sucking the water to enter. And this is the, the outlet. When we connect the pump, we we'll see all kind of the connection. As I have said, the impairers, no matter in that cross part, I have said casing, internally there is the impairers. We, when we go, we go down, we we'll see those kind of the impairers. And normally, these impairers I was saying about, I was talking about, there are in, in two, three categories. The first one, there are closet impairers, semi impairers and the open impairers. Normally here when you see this, here those, those are the open impairers. It means when they are rotating, when they are rotating, they can rotate clockwise, then they can push water to enter into the void. Then here also, as you see, as I have said, these are rotating internally and this one is going to connect. Then it is when it's rotating inside, it push water to come up as they are rota rotating. It is this side closet inside, it is this side. Then also, uh, coming down also, we have, there is some pump which, which have single impairs, and another one have my, my Storage, multiple installation of, of impairs. Normally, on this one, as I have said in the centrifugal pump, also we are having the submersible pumps. This one, this one with this submersible pump, normally we are having the electrical side, as you have seen on that one, it is coming up to this level. Normally, that one, it is sucking to the inlet but the inlet what of this one is this one. And also, from here up to this level, it is where the, the impairs are connected by flowing on the shaft. Then when this is working also, the pump is rotating, then also it is rotating the shaft, and the impairs here are rotating internally, and also it is suck water here, the inlet can be this one, and also the outlet is on that point. This, it goes into deep, and you can go to connect to the electri electricity at the wrong distance. And also, when you move forward, as I have said, on this side, I have said that you are having the impairs, and also we are having the casing, and also when it is rotating, for example, on this side, the impairs are rotating this side, then the flow, the flow of water, the flow of water is coming like this, and also it goes out as these directions. This, it enter and it go out having the required pressure and also the required flow rate. And also, this pump, normally, when you are going to buy the pump on the market, you have to look on the plate tag, which is mentioned here. Normally, on this plate tag, you see the first one you have, it is here, it is there. You, you refine the two, you refine the router per, in router per minute. Normally, for example, the edge you have here, it is a head. No matter this head, in, in normal terms, the head, it can be described at the, vert the vertical distance from free surface of water to any point of concentration below. No matter in the supply of this water, when using the pump, the pump has where to reach, where it can pump water to, to reach. This head, no matter it can 
b as a function of fro volume flow at a at a preset speed normally this one for example here they are having it is varying from 31 meter to 30 meters and also we are having head max it can supply to 48 me meters as you see here normally when you go to buy the this pump to the market you have to look to this plate tag you say the head, the, the head you have where you want to supply the water and you select the pump according to the head you are going to supply the water. And also it, it can have the efficiency. Normally when we say this efficiency, it can be as a function of fluid flow at a preset speed. And also this, it can have also the head max, the two max, can have the volt. Here you see the volt it has. Normally, also it can have rotation per minute. And this pump, when rotating, it can give the pressure to the water to go up. And also, this it is the main the main specification you can see to when you are going to, to buy the pump. It is the flow rate. It is the Q max. It is the Q minimum and also you can have the rotation per, per minute. Then also, as I have said, when you are going to install the pump, also you look where it enter as inlet and also as the uh, outlet. When you go to the installation, we will see the side of the suction side and the, the flow rate and the delivery side. Then, normally the centrifugal pump, it can have the static suction head. When we say negative suction, it is when the, feet, the, the lifting water up. When the pump is going to lift the water up, you say it is on negative lifting. Then, when you can say the zero suction, when water level it is at the same level as the A of the impedance. For example, here having this, when you look inside here, you will see there is some A's of the impedance. Then when the water we are going to move upward is on these same levels. For example, this is a continuous pipe entering. And also where we are going to pump water, it is also on this same level. It means we are, we are having the water at the same level to pour up. It is mean we have zero suction to the water levels. It means there is no suction head we may, we may have. And also, it can have the positive suction lift when the incoming pressure is positive. And also, uh, when we go to the installation, we use many tools and we use many materials like pipe wrench, like die stock, and so and so on. We use, as of today, we use the galvanized pipe because we have to know the connection of the pump using the galvanized pipe. Dear runners, as for today, we can end here in this section. Then after, we will come to the section of the pump installation in practically here it was normally the introduction to this kind of pump when we are going to install it. Thank you.